back-to-back -back uploads, who am I? <laughs> Welcome back guys! So, today I am posting another guitar tutorial from Taylor Swift's new album, Folklore, and I decided that I was going to teach Exile because I think it was one of my first favorites on the album. It's so good. And it's a duet with Bon Iver. I think that's how you pronounce it. I don't know. But yeah, I'm so excited. I love this song. If you haven't already seen my tutorial that I did on Cardigan, you can click the link up here. And yeah, let's get into it. So this song is super easy if you have a capo. When I look up songs to learn, I go on Ultimate Guitar, I'm sure many of you do, and they have this little tool where you can transpose it. That's what I did for this song. If you want to play it without a capo, you can, but I just don't like those chords, and so I just keep transposing it until I like the chord progression that I'm working with. So I'm gonna show you how I play this song. I'm sure there's other ways other people are teaching to play this song, but this is just the way I play it that I think sounds good for me. I don't know, I, I just like these chords a lot. You're going to need to know just four chords, A minor, F, C, and G. My favorite chords, honestly. If you want to check out the tab that I wrote, you can click the link in the description box and it will take you to my guitar tabs on my website. You can check that out. The intro and verses only have two chords, which is amazing. It's only gonna be C and A minor. So that's that's going to be the entire intro and the entire verse. So I'm going to be playing on the 6th fret, which is pretty high, but I really like the way that it sounds. This song is also a little bit low in vocal range because it is a duet with a man with a very deep voice, but you can always just move the capo up and down until the key fits your voice if you're trying to sing it. Okay, so the strumming pattern that I'm doing is just kind of one of the basic ones. I'll just say it very slowly. So it goes down, down, up, up, down, up, down, and then you switch chords. Down, down, up, up, down, up, down. And this one is super easy because it's just switching between A minor and C, and you don't have to move any of your fingers. The only finger you have to move is your third finger on C. So you're not going to move your first two fingers, you're only going to move your third finger. Up, up, down, up, down. And then you just bring this finger down underneath the second finger. Down, up, up, down, up, down. So for the intro, it's just going to be four measures, so it's going to be C, A minor, C, A minor, and then he's going to start singing. When you get into the verse, you are not even going to change anything about your strumming. It's just, it's the same exact thing. And his voice is so low, so excuse me if I can't sing this. So you are going to start singing after the down strum of the C when it gets to the verse. So you're going to play C down, and then you're going to start singing. I can see you standing, honey, with his arms around your body, laughing at the jokes, not funny at all. And then you're gonna go to the second part of the verse, and that's all of the first verse, so super easy, you can do it. This is very beginner if you have a capo. And if you don't have a capo, you need to get one because it makes life so much easier when you're trying to learn a bunch of songs. And as you get better, you can start playing bar chords and stuff that you don't need the capo for, but I use the capo almost every single time I'm singing. So 
Going into the chorus, there is going to be a little bit of a change in the chords. There's going to be four chords. So in the first two lines, the chord progression is going to be F, G, A minor, G. And it's the same strumming pattern as before. The timing of the chords is going to be a little bit different. Instead of a full measure, the chords are just each one is going to be a half measure. When you're playing the verses in the intro, you're going to have four beats, but on these chords, you're going to have two beats. So if you can't do the strumming pattern, just down strum it. I always say that because it's better to learn the song than to get all fancy and not play it the right way. You're going to have F. Um, I play a specific version of F that I've talked about before, but basically you just play the cheater F and you don't put your middle finger on the second string, you take it off. It just kind of has this like suspended sound. I think it's like F sus 4 maybe. So I play that and the way that I play G is also different because I will keep the same shape the entire song. So I played um, G sus 4 like this, I think it's called G sus 4, but you also just move your third finger, you keep your, your middle finger off of it. We're gonna go F, one, two, and then up to G sus 4, one, two, and then you're gonna go to A minor, but I also do a special version of A minor. You can just do regular A minor I if you don't know, but on this one I do an A minor 7, so I take off my third finger. That sounds a little confusing, but it just kind of like keeps the same sound to the chords in the song. Um, and then the last chord, you go back to G. So F, G, A minor, G. That's for the first two parts. And then, so I guess I'll just sing that, so it's gonna go. I think I've seen this film before And I didn't like the ending So it changes on the second part, so it's gonna go F, G, A minor, G, and then when you say defending now, you're gonna go back to the F. And so it's gonna go What am I defending now? F, and then you were my town. You're gonna go to G. Now I'm in exile. You're gonna hit the A minor. And on out, you're gonna go to C. Out. So that's a new chord. C, they just kind of put in there at the end of that little part. So we're gonna go G. So what am I defending now? You were my town. Now I'm in exile, seeing you out. And then it goes back to the first line of the chorus. You're just gonna go F. I think I've seen this film before. So you're just gonna go F, G, A minor. And then you're gonna go back to the intro a little bit to have like a little instrumental between the chorus and the second verse. And then you're just gonna go back to C, A minor, C, A minor. And you're just gonna do a little intro before the second verse. And you're gonna go back to the four beat measures. I hope this is all making sense. I always say this and sometimes I feel like I am not teaching well enough. Okay, so the second verse, just like the first verse, completely identical, so I am not not gonna go through that so let's play the second verse together shall we yeah I'll play it really slow and I'll sing it but I'll have the chords so you can follow along okay so we're gonna go slow I can see you staring honey like he's just your understudy like you get your knuckles bloody for me second third and hundred Chances balancing on breaking bridges, those eyes that insult to injury. All right, I feel like I'm Dora the Explorer. Good job, give yourself a round of applause. <laughs> okay, so second chorus identical to the first chorus. The only thing is that there is an extra last line after they say, I think I've seen this film before, and then it goes. So I'm leaving out the side door, bam, into the most amazing bridge on the album. So at the end she says, so I'm leaving out the side door. So it's gonna go F. I think I've seen this film before. So I'm leaving out the side door. So you're gonna keep it on the A minor and when it hits leaving, you're gonna hit the G. And after you say door in the song, you can hear the B, it's gonna go to the C. And that is gonna start you to the bridge. Let's do it together, shall we? So we go. I think I've seen this film before. So I'm leaving out the 
Leading into that amazing bridge I've been talking about, this one's a little bit hard because there's two voices going on at the same time and it's hard to know when to play which chord, but on my tab you can see I have put the chord above the exact place you need to start the down strum for the next measure. So the bridge is going to be A minor, G, F, C. And also these chords are going to be in full measures four beats per chord. You're gonna be on the C, basically, so it's gonna be, so I'm leaving out the side door, down, two, three, so step right out, A minor, two, three, four, G, there is no amount, I, I, so F on the I. So it's basically at the end of the line, you're gonna switch chords. I hope this is all making sense. So I'm gonna play it slowly with the words and play along with me. Let's do it. Okay, we're gonna start on the C. the bridge so Taylor is echoing each of those lines at the end they come together and they say so many signs so many signs so it's all four of those chords the same way the entire way through the bridge to the very very end and then it's gonna do the chorus again and again with the last line that says leaving out the side door and another bridge the same way that I just told you and then we have a little outro so after it says when it says you never gave a warning sign, it's just gonna go do those four chords of the bridge one more time through, and that is the end. So, one. And they're gonna do some voices like, ah. It's kind of like a, a resolve. And it kind of just ends on the F, like lets it just kind of dissolve into the world. <laughs> I don't know. That is it. That is the entire song. It's very easy. So I'll just sing a little bit of it so you can get the idea of how it's supposed to sound with playing and everything. And yeah, thanks for watching. <laughs> I'm gonna sing Taylor's verse. <laughs> I can see you staring, honey, like he's just your understudy, like you get your knuckles bloody for me. Second, third, and hundredth chances Balancing on breaking pages Those eyes that insult to injury I think I've seen this film before And I didn't like the ending I'm not your problem anymore So who am I to be? Good enough. <laughs> okay, I do not know why I forgot to film an ending. I just kind of stopped recording. So, I hope you liked this video. Give it a thumbs up if you liked it. And if you want to see more guitar tutorials, comment down below. And also subscribe. I also make other videos. So, do that so you don't miss any of them. And yes, thank you so much for watching. And I'll see you next time. Bye. Comment down below if you want to see Betty next. All right, we done. We done here. I don't know anything, but I know I miss you.